Hi guys, welcome to episode nine of Geography Explained Online. Today we're gonna to be showing you how you can take a photograph, look at the shadows in that photograph and work out the possible time of day that the photograph was taken. Time of day questions are notoriously tricky. In the HSC, the, you get one every few years and they can be very difficult to work out. So we're gonna actually cover a few different things that you have to keep in mind to use a shadow to figure out time of day. All right, let's go to the whiteboard. we're going to look at a few basics and to do that we need to look at how the sun actually moves across the sky. So the first thing we know, this is a very well known fact, is that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west and this is going to make a uh, big impact on the direction that our shadows face. So sun rising in the east and it's going to cast light from the east. When it hits an object like this building that I've so perfectly drawn, it's going to cast a shadow and that shadow is going to be cast in a west direction. Now, as we move further towards midday, higher in the sky, when we hit midday, directly above, objects are gonna have a really, really short shadow. The closer you are to midday, whether it's in the morning or afternoon, the shorter the shadow is gonna be. As you are, if it's really early in the morning, you're gonna have this really long shadow cast. If it's really late in the afternoon, again, you're gonna have a long shadow, but in this case, we're gonna have light being cast from the west as the sun is setting, and it's gonna cast a long shadow in an east direction. So looking at that direction is a really good way to understand uh, where the sun is in the sky, and that helps us to understand the time of day. This works really well if you're at the equator, but if you are somewhere else on the globe, there's a few other things to consider. So I'll hand it over to Mr. Sissio. Thank you very much, Samantha. So we're gonna demonstrate what that actually looks like on the world using a model. Um, we've got our globe of the earth down here, um, and we've got our fake sun here, that's be good. Um, and if you zoom in, uh, you'll find I've made some buildings. I've got one up here in Turkey, in the Northern Hemisphere, but one here in Kenya, and one here in Africa. So all made of blue tack. So we're gonna assume that the sun is over the equator, so it's about the equinox, and let's look at what shadows do there. So as Samantha said, the sun is always gonna rise in the east. Therefore, over here in Kenya, you can see a very long westerly shadow being cast from the building in Kenya. And you'll see as the day progresses and the earth rotates, we can see that in the middle of the day, there's no shadow being cast at all because the building is actually casting a shadow basically directly into its own footprint. So you can't see a shadow whatsoever. Um, then in the afternoon, when the sun is more in the west, we can see the shadow now lengthening in the easterly direction. The lower in the, sun, uh, lower in the sky the sun is, the longer the shadow is. Very good. But let's see, because latitude affects this process as well. Let's see what happens up here in Turkey. So you can see in the morning, the sun is still to the east, but because it's over the equator, the shadow is not being cast directly to the west. It's actually being casted in a northwesterly direction. That is because if you're in Turkey, in the northern hemisphere, the sun will be to your south as well as the east because it's rising. As the earth rotates, once again, we can see the shadow getting shorter and shorter, but now see the, the shadow is not being cast directly into its own footprint because the sun is in the south from Turkey's perspective. The sun is actually in the south and the shadow is being cast a little bit to the north. Now, over here in the afternoon, once again, the shadow lengthens, but it never points directly west, uh, di sorry, directly to the east because the sun is not directly west, it's southwest, so the shadow is facing the northeast. If we go down here to the southern hemisphere, down to South Africa, you can see once again, we've got the morning here. And there we go. The sun is in the north east from South Africa's perspective. So the shadow is not cast to the west, but to the southwest. In the middle of the day, once again, we can see a short shadow that faces basically directly to the south because the sun is to the north. And then again in the afternoon, the shadow is cast to the south and to the east because the sun is to the north and to the west. So this all means that you can't just take the direction of the shadow into account. You actually have to figure out where your place is in the world because the latitude will affect the direction of the shadow. The further north you go, the more northerly directed the shadow will be. The further south you go, the more southerly directed the, the shadow will be. So that's very important that you take latitude into account when figuring out time of day with shadows. 
Hey guys, we are down here on Eastern Oval and we're going to do a bit of a demonstration of how we can use shadows to work out time of day. Mr. Sizio, what have you got in your hand there? I've got a can of spray paint. We're going to do some graffiti. Don't, don't you graffiti. No. We're allowed because we're teachers. Don't, but don't you. And this don't. is special graffiti we use for like cricket grounds and stuff. Yeah, but what we're going to do professional graffiti. is we're going to put Mr. Sizio in a bunch of different positions and we're going to show you how his shadow changes throughout the day. So what's the first thing we need, Sis? To find, figure out time of day, the first and most important thing you need is which way is north. So you basically on a broadsheet, you're going to have a north arrow. That way you can figure out which way is which, but we don't have a north arrow here, so we have to create one. Okay guys, so exactly like we showed you on the globe yesterday, but in the same video for you. Um, we have now five different times, and as you can see, the shadow has moved around. We're in the next morning now. So 8 a.m. shadow is there. North is that way, so west is that way. So rather than our shadow, my shadow being cast directly to the west, because the sun's in the east, because we're in the southern hemisphere, the shadow is southwest, not just west. It then, as the day progresses, gets shorter and shorter and more and more to the, directly to the south. By the afternoon, still short, 2 p.m. here, we've got 10 a.m., 11.30, 2 p.m. By 4 p.m., you can see it gets much longer again, but again, we're not directly east because the sun is not directly west because we're in the southern hemisphere. All the shadows are always going to have a sort of westerly, a southerly direction because we're in the southern hemisphere. Okay guys, so here we've got a bit of a practice question that we can use our skill that we've just developed to do. Um, we've got a lady here in broadsheet um, question with, um, casting a bit of a shadow. Um, we know that up is north and this photo is also from Sydney, so obviously in the southern hemisphere. So we've got our four multiple choice options. Our option A is 8 a.m., option B is 12, option C is 4 p.m., and option D is 9 p.m. So which one of those four is most likely? Well, we know up being north, down being south, that shadow is being cast to the southwest. It's also pretty long. You can see that the shadow itself is much longer than the lady casting it. Therefore, it basically has, it means the sun is going to be in the east. Therefore, it has to be early morning. So given our multiple choice options, the only option possible would be early morning, which is 8 a.m. Thanks so much for watching guys. Hope you got something out of that and you understand now a little better how to use shadows in photos to find the time of day. We will be making another video next week, so make sure you join us then. And good luck to all the HSE students out there who are doing their trials now or in the next couple of weeks. Remember to not only subscribe to us on YouTube, but like us on Instagram as well. We're sharing pretty much some sort of content every day on Insta, so get on that. Like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that little ding, ding, ding. We don't know if it's up it's, here or up there. It's down there. No, it's not down there. It, it's below us. Hit the what dinger. Hit the dinger. Hit the dinger. <laughs> Can you see him? I really oh, am. I like that. I like, I like on that yeah. side. Yeah, I should start. And when you throw to me, I'll go. So. Oh, Hi, guys. Oh, welcome. <laughs> Let's play corners. <laughs> 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 All right. Might just get a photo here. We'll get a photo here as well in case we need it. <laughs> you laugh. I'm not doing anything. Stop your face. One take, one take Sammy. Here she is. <laughs> <laughs>